a standoff outside Kerote Brewery's company. Its origin perhaps being the government's failure to clearly define what exactly is second generation liquor. That confusion culminating into a standoff between Rift Valley Regional Coordinator Osman Warfa, Ivasha Member of Parliament John Kihagi, Kenya Bureau of Standards Officials and Kiroche Brewery's Company Chief Executive Officer Tabitha Karanja. As all this happened, there was a heavy presence of security officers who cordoned off the company's premise as impatient youth waited for that moment when they will be allowed to carry out the raid. At one time, Kebs officers disabled the production and locked the bonded warehouse. Karanja, while addressing members of the press, accused the first-time MP of dishonesty in the manner the crackdown was being handled, saying she has all her paperwork that led to the establishment of the company. Make it very clear. Yesterday I was called by the, the CS of security, and he told me he's going to send the PC, the PC who is now here today, so that we can come and lock this uh, product, which is yes. crescent, which we know very well is good. It's only a lot of politics mixed in the business and all that. Um, please, and I call this as the CEO, the head of this organization, off. Everybody to go. In Mombasa, more than 20,000 liters of illicit brew was destroyed by police in Chuda, Junda area. Speaking during one of the raid, Kisauni Deputy County Commissioner Julius Kavita stated that police had been able to zero in on a suspected Changaya brewery that is safely tucked within a mangrove swamp in Juda. We have also more than 200 containers, that is drums, which are now under, under, which cannot be used. We have destroyed them, and you can see the, the powers of man, what he's doing to this. He's doing a lot of damage. We don't want them to repeat the exercise in due course. We have a speedy, a team in Guinea, Pandele, to Likwa to Megawana, while we are in the mainland, dry land, and to Takwa to Narudia Bada, Sikumbili Tatu. In Matungulu Machakos County, police raided an illicit brew factory, though the owner, Moticia Musosia, escaped the police dragnet. His products explorer and prince are said to have found an easy market in Campbell County. This operation is very good because we have to get to the house and we have to get to the house and we have to get to the house and we in Narok, police led by Deputy County Commissioner Narok North Ronald Mwiwawi carried a raid at the home of Victoria Kagero, alias Jita Hidi, a prominent business lady in the area. Here they impounded thousands of second generation brew that was banned in the country and which was destroyed at Bobong Dam site. <laughs> tukatembelea hiyo boma na kwa kweli tumepata karibu katoni elfu moja ya hiyo second generation uh, alcohol Inyeri, Bar Owners Association Chairman Wambogo Mukundi has condemned the manner in which the crackdown on illicit alcohol was being executed. Wambogo says the crackdown has led to destruction of approved liquor. They are demanding for a compensation from the government over incurred losses estimated to be over 50 million Kenya shillings. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel 1 News R.